This time of the year is a lot of people's favorite, as the trees are finally leafed out, flowers are blooming, and birds are migrating back northward. Not to mention the warmer weather and longer days, of course. But, something else is waiting for us this year, something that's a usual part of our summers, but it'll be a lot more noticeable this summer. Of course, we're talking about these things, cicadas. In case you've forgotten what they sound like, here's a preview for you. Okay, that's enough of that. Anyways, this is a map of different broods of cicadas found across different parts of the country. The different broods hatch every either 13 years or every 17 years, which are labeled on the right. You can see how Illinois is generally divided in half by two different broods, one being a 13-year brood and the other being a 17-year. Both are hatching this year, though. Here's a bit of a closer look at where Illinois is divided by the two different broods. The biggest overlap of both broods will be across parts of central Illinois, where there will likely be more cicadas than anyone knows what to do with. There will be more than plenty across the entire state though, as obviously this isn't a perfect representation of where the two broods are. And even nationally, Illinois will really be the hotspot for cicada activity very soon. Now, when will these things start to hatch, and how is our weather right now affecting them? Cicadas are underground until they're ready to hatch. They know it's time when the ground temperature about 8 inches deep reaches 64 degrees, which is when they burrow to the surface and start screaming. It all happens very quickly, and will likely go from almost zero cicadas to an invasion in under a week. This is what it'll look like when they begin to emerge from underground. They'll leave tunnels in their wake as they come up. So how close are they? Well, looking at ground temperatures just underneath the surface across northern Illinois, we're already up into the mid to upper 60s. Looking at this graph, you can see ground temperatures are running as much as 10 degrees warmer than the running average, so that means they'll likely be coming out a bit sooner than we'd normally expect. However, those readings were recorded near the surface, and cicadas are about 8 inches below the surface. Unfortunately, soil temperature data at 8 inch soil depth is limited across the state. As you can see, we don't have that many sensors available. Still. Looking here, you can see we're at 56 degrees near DeKalb in northern Illinois. The sensor here in west central Indiana is at 58 degrees at 8 inch depth. The sensor in Champaign is already at 61 degrees. And then this sensor just north of St. Louis here is at 62 degrees at 8 inch depth. Going just a bit south here into, into southeastern Missouri, we're at that 64 degree benchmark. So we're probably close to seeing cicadas start to hatch here across far southern Illinois. And with the 7 to 10 day outlook favoring highs in the 60s and 70s, maybe even with a few 80s thrown in, soil temperatures will only continue to warm up, pretty quickly too. The only thing that may keep the cicadas at bay temporarily is the rain. It looks like for our Thursday some showers and thunderstorms will be possible, especially across far northern Illinois early Tuesday morning. Then we may have a break into the afternoon hours until the early evening hours when more thunderstorms develop, especially across western Illinois. Some of these could be heavy and even severe. Then into Thursday overnight into Friday morning we'll see rain and thunderstorms overspread pretty much the whole state, and rain will end Friday morning as a cold front slides through the state. In addition to Thursday's wet weather, we'll also have a very large temperature spread across the state as a warm front looks to divide somewhere across northern Illinois. You can see as we warm up into the afternoon, we'll be in the 80s across central and southern Illinois and even parts of northern Illinois, but it'll just depend on where that warm front sets up. It's likely that near the lake will be quite chilly with northeast winds off the lake. And with that front nearby, we'll have to watch for some thunderstorm development later Thursday afternoon into the evening hours. Again, the overall severe risk is pretty low, but it's possible we do see a stronger storm or two, especially across western Illinois. But back to the cicadas, this is the rough timeline where we think cicada activity will get into full swing across the state. Before the main hatch, we'll likely start to see a few hatch early, some of which you may have already seen, especially if you're further south. Swarms of them will likely be persistent through the end of June, with them dying off after that. You'll know what's starting to happen when you start to see small holes in the ground that look like this. This is what the cicadas leave behind when they dig themselves out of the ground, and their holes are most commonly found near trees and other plants where they dig under to hatch. And with the 13 and 17 year cicadas both coming out at the same time, expect lots of them. Even though lots of people do not like these things, try to enjoy the fact that you at least won't have to see this many for another 17 years. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let us know when you see your first cicada. It'll be pretty soon.